welcome to the Life at Longview podcast. Our hosts are Dr. Derek Wilson, Senior Pastor of Longview Heights Baptist Church, and our very own Clyde Bostick. Welcome to the Life at Longview podcast. We're so glad that you're here. I want to give a welcome to our co-host. You guessed on Facebook, and uh, the last I saw, nobody guessed correctly, but this is mm. Clyde Bostick, and he'll be co-hosting the show. Well, thanks, Derek. I'm excited to be here, bud. All right, so just to tell you a little bit about how the, how the podcast will work is we will uh, launch a podcast episode every couple of weeks, uh, so be on the lookout for occasional bonus episodes, but we want to just kind of gather together and discuss what life at Longview is like. We want to look at what we're, what we're studying, where we're preaching, what we're doing in our Bible reading plan, upcoming events. Uh, we want to spot, put a spotlight on ministry partners and mission partners and church plant partners, and then also put a spotlight on many of our volunteers and servant leaders here within the church at Longview. And don't forget, we're going to have some fun along the way with some games and stuff, maybe some trivia. Some trivia. And then we'll even maybe let, let you nerd out too. Like, will it be Bible trivia? Or I don't know. Do as long that? as we don't have to read anything in Hebrew. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, who, what's fun is that? <laughs> All right, and now it's time for Where in the Word Are We? So, Brother Derek, you started a new series a couple weeks ago. Can you tell us about where you're going to be next? Uh, yeah, the, so this series is entitled Core Values for Kingdom Living. And our first core value was the Word. We value yeah. the Word. And then yesterday we looked at we value prayer uh, and these core values that uh, help us to, uh, to live out the, the life that God would have us to live as we seek first His kingdom. Um, and, and over the next couple of weeks, we'll be looking at another couple of core values. This week will be we value community. And we'll be really thinking on and talking about how important it is to not walk by ourselves as we walk after Jesus Christ. We need one another. Oh, yeah, we, need a, we need brothers and sisters in Christ to come alongside to be able to, uh, to rejoice with one another, to, to mourn and, and weep with one another. And so we'll be talking on the value of We Value Community. And then the following week, we will be looking at We Value Disciple Making. Okay. And uh, I, I'll be honest, I like being a disciple. I like being a nerd, I like studying, I like thinking all those things and soaking in it. It's harder to be a disciple maker, not yeah. just a learner and a disciple, but a disciple maker. And well, so, I think you said something in our men's night, you said something about being a sitter and a soaker, and you challenged us to go and get off of our butts <laughs> and go play the game and stop watching. And I think that that discipleship making will go along great with that, especially for the men who attended that night. I hope so. And so over the next several weeks, we're going to go. So those are the first four, the Word, prayer, community, uh, disciple making, and then there'll be three more after that. So we value worship, we value generosity, and we value serving. And so okay. I'm excited about yeah, studying Yeah, a couple weeks ago, things. you did do a plug on generosity. What was the date on that one again? It'll be September the 22nd when we'll have a Generosity Sunday. Okay. And we're really challenging the church body to be generous. Be generous on behalf of the church to give toward debt retirement. And then also be generous as you go and have lunch that day to be generous to a uh, someone who's serving you, a waiter or a waitress. Give them a tract. Yeah, I think Arturo down at Me Pueblo got wind of that. He's already encouraged all the Longview folks to come to Me Pueblo that Sunday. That sounds great. <laughs> all right, so another thing we'll be discussing from where in the Word segment is how our church is going to be studying God's Word, all the way from preschool to our adult ministry. Can you tell us more about that too? A absolutely. So today we're going to focus on our adults because uh, beginning in September, September the 4th, I think, is when we, uh, that Wednesday night we will launch our fall discipleship groups. And so uh, you'll have opportunities as adults. There'll be some women's studies. Uh, there are a couple of co-ed studies uh, in our men. We really challenge our men to be a part of D groups, but yeah. uh, there's opportunities to just dig into God's Word, to pray together, to hold one another accountable, really fits both of the, the community and valuing the Word. And so, um, we, we, again, we value the Word, and, yeah. and being a part of the life at Longview um, gives multiple opportunities to dig deeper into God's Word. And uh, 
Again, we shared this a couple of weeks ago on our Sunday morning. The goal when we study the Bible is not just to know more stuff. Yeah. It is to know God more deeply. That's right and then to love Him more deeply. So we're excited about that, and we want to let you know more about that. So, uh, Speaking of discipleship groups, here's a video by James and Jennifer Walker. I'm James Walker, discipleship pastor here at Longview Heights Baptist Church, and this is my wife, Jennifer, and we want to tell you about the discipleship groups coming up this fall. Men, something we're really excited about this fall for you is D groups. This is a different kind of thing than what we've done in the past. And it's groups of three to five men who are going to get together at various times, places, and take some time to study the Word of God. They're going to pray together, and you're going to have accountability with each other. And this is going to be a great opportunity for men to experience life-on-life -life discipleship. You can contact me at james at lhbc.me to register for one of these groups. Ladies, we have three different Bible study options for you. We have two on Wednesday night and one on Thursday morning. One of them is Luke in the Land and called Walking with Jesus in His First Century World. We will follow Christy McClelland through Israel as we study snapshots from the Gospel of Luke to see where these stories of the Bible took place. Along the way, we will see how Jesus brought His kingdom to earth for everybody and how we can be for His kingdom in this world today. Another Wednesday night study is called Anxious, Fighting Anxiety with the Word of God. And ladies, we know that we live in a world of sadness and fear and anxiety. And we also know that the only true way to combat this is through bringing the Word of God into each of our situations. This study will help us do that. We will dig deep into six different biblical characters who also have struggled with anxiety and see how applicable the Word of God is to our problems with fear, uh, sadness, and anxiousness as we face our world around us. And then on Thursday morning, our Joy of Living class is going to be doing this, a study of the wonderful books of Judges and Ruth. Through these Old Testament books, we will see God's faithfulness, His forgiveness, and His graciousness as we watch His people cycle over and over again through disobedience and sin and God's judgment and then His forgiveness and their restoration and their redemption. And in these studies, we will see that no matter what, God's people are in His hands. And no matter what is going on around them in the world, God is still the one on the throne. He is still in control. And nothing and no one can thwart His plans. You can talk about divorce with your friends and your family, but until they've gone through it, they don't get it. I don't know who I am anymore. I was so angry, so bitter. I feel like I did all the right things. Why me? A divorce can be a traumatic and isolating experience, but there is hope. Divorce Care is a video-based support group that helps you heal from the pain of separation or divorce. You are there with a group of people who are going through the same thing, and it really touches you. It really helped me to stay grounded. It actually is 100% effective on changing your life. And a co-ed study that we have for you is called Equip for the Task. This is looking at a level of missions education, going to the biblical foundations, the historical look, and practical applications for you in your walk today. You'll learn how to share the gospel and have accountability on sharing the gospel week to week. As you love and grow to love the Soda County area and the world. You can register for all of these discipleship groups at groups.longview.church. Thank you to James and Jennifer for sharing that info about our discipleship groups. Again, we've got groups for everyone, so we hope you'll find an opportunity to dig deeper into God's Word and sign up for one of these this fall.
All right, so our second segment in the Life at Longview podcast will be pertaining to upcoming events. And so Clyde been looking at our uh, events in our, in our bulletin, and it's getting busy around here in the yeah, next yeah. few months. I mean, I'm looking forward most especially to our fall missions fundraiser. Did you know there's going to be a craft fair? I did. Did you know there's going to be old cars outside? <laughs> I did. I did I'm excited. know those things. I love old cars. Fall missions fundraiser is September 21st from 9 to 2. We'll need everyone to help us to get the word out. Anyone who has a cool car to show it off. Miss Lisa wouldn't take mine. It doesn't have to be a classic <laughs> car. It could be any car that you like. She did take my Matchbox car, though. And we also need to help getting word out to anyone you know who makes a craft or a home good. And I did hear there'll be some of those boutique vendors that our wife spends all her money at. I was a little bit worried about that. But it's for a good cause, right? Yes. It's for missions. So the, uh, the funds that will be raised that day will go towards our, our missions teams that we send out here from Longview. We've sent out a number of teams already this year. We've got a number of teams still yet to go. And so uh, we'll be putting that money into, uh, in, in for next year's mission teams to be okay. able to support and help uh, individuals from our Longview Heights family to be able to go and share the gospel across the United States and across the world. So okay. if, you gotta, if, the, if you gotta spend it anyway, Spending it for the sake of the gospel going forth is seems like a pretty good way to yeah, do it. Yeah, for sure. Are they going to have food there? I think they're going to have food there. Are you sure? Well, we but, are Baptist. Yeah, but I know I'll get hungry there yeah, from that length for, of time. Nine so. to two? Nine to two. Okay. So they'll have food available too. So uh, bring your cars, enjoy your crafts. I think it'll be a good time. It'll be a great time. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So be sure to check out events.longview.church. Uh, to find out more information about the, the cruising and crafting for a mission and all of the other events coming up here at Longview Hey, didn't I see some cards we can hand out to our community? They're, yeah, absolutely. They're on the welcome desk. On the welcome okay, desk. Okay, grab some. They're there. Take them. Take them to work. Take them. Take them to ball practice. Take them to the restaurant when you go. That's right. Okay, Brother Derek, I think you're going to like this. It's going to be my favorite part. That sounds, it's, sounds oh, great. We have the following games to choose from. Okay. Lamentations or Taylor Swift lyrics. <laughs> okay. Pop song or psalm. That's in the Bible? True or false? Lamentations or Taylor Swift lyrics? I knew he was going to go there. He just wants to hear me say Lamentations wrong multiple times. <laughs> All right, let's go. Lamentations or Taylor Swift lyric? He pierced my heart with arrows. Lamentations. Oh, you are correct, Brother Derek. That's from Lamentations 313. I wouldn't have gotten chapter and verse right. You would not have? I would not okay. have. Okay. Well, I wouldn't expect you to get verse right. All right, where we stood was holy ground. You know, that sounds as if that would be in the Bible. It but I am going, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that that is a Taylor Swift lyric. Okay, you are correct, because she has a song called Holy Ground. <laughs> well, good. I'm proud that I did not know that. <laughs> but I got the question right, which is doubly great. No, I guess it's fantastic. Let him bury his face in the dust. I does, think it sounds like a Taylor Swift. It player. sounds very Taylor Swift. She broke Swift. up with him. Whoever. What do you think? I, I'm going to say it's in Lamentations, though. All right, we'll see. You know what? It's also in chapter 3. Verse 29. Chapter 3. It sounds three. like you need to give us a presentation on Lamentations chapter 3. Yeah, well, it sounds like. Okay. It sounds. All right, they can mock me in their songs. The trivia part of me says this is too obvious. So maybe you were trying to trick me. Maybe. So I'm going to say Taylor Swift lyric. You know what? And I was wrong. You were incorrect. It's also from chapter 3 of Lamentations. I overthought myself. Verse 63 on that one. All right, how about this one? This path is reckless. I'm getting into my test-taking brain. <laughs> We've had too many lamentations. This has got to be a Taylor Swift lyric. All right. You know what? You're right. It's from her song called Treacherous. Treacherous. I'm proud to say I don't know that one either. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, you came near when I called you. Lamentations. I think you're right on this one. You know where it's from? <laughs> it's in chapter 3 again. <laughs> it is. I feel a sermon coming. Because of all the women of the city. I'm going lamentations again. Okay, well, you're right. Guess what chapter it's from? Chapter 3. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 51. I'll fight their doubt and give you faith. I'm going to say Lamentations again. Chapter you know 3, what? even. You're wrong. Ah! <laughs> it's Taylor Swift's song, Hours. Taylor Swift talking about faith. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It's getting dark, and it's all too quiet. I'm going to say a Taylor Swift lyric. I think I should probably sing that one from the song Haunted. Ah. I don't know that one either. I didn't know that one either. My heart is poured out upon the ground below. Lamentations, chapter I hope three. So. Chapter two. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 11. Lamentations is good stuff. Yeah. I wonder what game we're going to play next week on our podcast trivia. I don't have any idea. Well, maybe you won't pick Lamentations again. I will not pick Lamentations again. Okay. Those, those were, the, the other ones were intriguing too. Like part of me wants to just keep. I want to do pop song and psalm. <laughs> So at this point of the podcast, each, uh, each time, we want to highlight a, a ministry. Okay. Um, uh, we've got so many ministries going on at the church, uh, whether connected to you know, age, um, like for preschool kids, students, adults, uh, or by, by hobby or interest. And so um, we want to take this time each, each episode to highlight ministries here that maybe some of our listeners and viewers have never don't don't know is yeah. going on. So, yeah, so a local ministry that we want to talk about today is our Shaw ministry. How many times a month do these ladies meet there? The, these ladies meet four times a month, and they get together and they use their skill in crocheting and knitting to make shawls and wraps, baby hats, blankets, uh, other items to give to individuals who I, have need. You know, I know they give some hats and gloves to the Memphis Union Mission every year. That's or right. every winter. And they also give shawls and wraps to church members who've lost loved ones or even families who just have a hard time. That's right. They, and just just on a personal note, um, with, with, with the recent passing of my mom, the Shaw Ministry blessed us uh, with, with a gift from the Shaw Ministry. So they, they, they gather, uh, again, four times each month. They give these things to families who have need. Uh, we appreciate the love and care that they show, uh, and you may have interest, and so we want to let you know, Clyde, how they can, can join up with the Shaw Ministry. Yeah, they meet on the first and third Saturday of each month from 1 to 3 p.m., and also on the second and fourth Tuesday of each month from 9.30 to 11.30 a.m. They welcome anyone who knows how to knit or crochet or anyone who wants to learn how. They'll teach you, right. even you, Derek. Even me, uh, and they meet upstairs in the F building above the gym. And again, thank you ladies for all that you do. And if you'd like to join with our Shaw ministry, uh, we encourage you to go and check them out. Segment number five is gonna be our volunteer spotlight. You know we have so many volunteers that work around the church to get things done. In this part of our episode, we're gonna spotlight one of those many volunteers. That's right, and we're excited about doing that. And today we are highlighting uh, Mr. Paul and Miss Betty Benson, and uh, they they are uh, big helps in in our church family, but specifically in our baptism ministry. So, uh, Brother Paul and Miss Betty, when we line up baptisms, uh, they are who we contact. Miss Betty will contact the family and line up and com communicate. Uh, everything a family needs to know about the day of their baptism, what time to meet where, and how to get where they need to go, and all of those kinds of things. And they are there uh, to to help serve, to to take care of all of the needs concerning the baptistry, to uh, to empty it, to fill it, to clean it, all of those mm -hmm. kind of things. Doing the kinds of things that people just take for granted. Yeah, those things don't just happen. Did There's you know individuals that? that did do you know Miss Betty's things. called my family's house three different times? Three different times. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm hoping for that fourth one real Amen. soon. Amen. Praise the Lord, brother. Yeah. 
and uh, we're excited about uh, how the Lord is blessing our church family in, in baptisms and uh, Brother Paul and Miss Betty are a big part of that day when we're able to celebrate that as a church family. So again, thank you so much to Brother Paul and Miss Betty. We are thankful for your service and we're excited to highlight them. And if you have anyone who you'd like to highlight as a volunteer who you have seen serving selflessly around our church, email Debbie at lhbc.me to suggest a volunteer highlight. Well, Clyde, I think we have successfully made it through our first episode. Successfully? Maybe. We did it. Be sure. <laughs> Thank you, not take it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take I, the successfully I part know, back. right? I think we did. Be sure to follow Life at Longview Podcast on your favorite podcast platform. We're in the Longview app, Apple, Spotify, or any of those other things that you got. We will see you next time on the Life at Longview Podcast.